Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 47 in chapter 3. This is still the project motion in the football. So it's kick the football. We can see the tell us the football is kicked out with the initial velocity 20 meter per second and angle 37 degree. So in this one, we can project the initial velocity at x component and y component. We get vox and voy, right? And then the tell us and the after the in the x component after 36 meter from the reference point and then there is a crossbar this crossbar is just a three meter above the ground sq in this case whether the uh, football will pass over the bar and and perfectly so this one we can say there is a bar we can say there is a bar we say it is three meters if this ball can pass perfectly above this bar, that means this Y must be larger than 3 meter. Do you agree? Yes. So it looks like this problem is ask us to find the position of this football at this bar's position and to determine whether it is larger than 3 or not. So in this case, we need to find the position at this position. So you can see in this one, we know the initial velocity. We know the acceleration is due to gravity pointing down. If we want to find y, it looks like we need some other quantities. Time t, you agree? We must know time t because initial position is zero. We choose it as a reference point. See, you know initial velocity at the y component, acceleration. And another thing, time t, you can find the position at the y component. That is a final p final position, and so now we need to find the time t. We know time t is as a bridge to connect the x component and the y component. You can see we can find the time t from the x component because we know the displacement at x component is thirty six meter, and the velocity at the x component is it, we can get right v o x. So the time t is so easy because the uh, at x component, it is move. The velocity is constant. So in this one, we first can get the time t from x component, and then we input this time t inside. We can get the position at this bar position y, and then we do the calculation. We find this y. Oh, sorry, it's uh, not larger than the three meter. So the football cannot. Go past the bar, see, cannot pass the bar. Uh, the next one, if not, from what horizontal distance uh, must this kick be made if this is to score? So uh, from what horizontal distance? So this is in another situation, delta x is not known. Delta x is not, not known, we don't know, right? Because it, it asks you what horizontal then we can move, move, this player move, move to make sure this football can go over this bar. So the limit situation at this position, the y is three meter. Do you agree? The y is three meter. So this football just go over this uh, crossbar. So in this case, we can say if you want to find the displacement at a horizontal, horizontal distance, you know the init, uh, velocity at x component. And you need to know t, right? Still, you need to know the time t. And then to find time t, you can get it from y component because you know the initial position, zero. Final position, three meter, it just go over the crossbar. Acceleration, initial velocity, so, so easy. You can get the time t. So in this case, we find you can get the time t uh, in two choices, uh, right? One is around 2 seconds, another is around 0 0.3 seconds. And then we don't know which one to choose. But in this case, we need to consider both. Because it may cross bar at 0 when it goes up. Or it cross bar when it moves down. Do you agree? So in this one, we need to consider both. And then use the velocity at x component times this time t. And then we get the range to make it. Thank you.